Hi. Time to check in with the slot machine. I can't wait. Something rigged. Let's check in with Clem. Oh, hi. Listen, I just need another try on that machine. My luck's about to turn around. I can feel it. Yes, Clem. You find some more money. That slot machine will pay out soon. After all the experiments, what are your thoughts? It's done. Finally. Hundreds of years of refining and planning. The results were mixed. But in science, you rarely wind up exactly where you were expecting. I did everything you asked. Can I go back to the power cycle? I really need to. My, what gusto. I'm glad you like the cycle so much, Clem. With my life's work done, I think I will deliver our schematics to other vaults to improve their lives. It was a privilege working with you. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. This is a big moment for me. I pass the mantle on to you. Guide Vault 88 to greatness. You're the Overseer now.
Please, sister. I've got a weapon here for every situation. Hunting, protection, cold-blooded murder, hot-blooded murder. Sure. Let's take a look. Let's get you outfitted, killer. Hell of a load you're carrying. Better sell some to Daisy before someone swipes it. Hey, you. You like scary stories? Head up to Salem sometime. Take the scenic tour. 
I don't know nothing about nothing. Don't ask questions and good neighbor. Better for everyone now. Enjoy your stay. <clears throat> Charlie serves the drinks. I deal with the drunks. Entertainments down the stairs. Downstairs. Don't bother the other patrons. Toss out the troublemakers, you keep that in mind. Step through the gate. Go. Hey, Charlie. We're up. Forever hold your baby, damn mouth shut. It's just you. Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! This gal wants a word. Humans should have green skin, like straw. Excuse mm. me, miss. Well, what's the matter, sweetheart? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. I loved the song. It was perfect. Strong prefers sound of battle. Oh, well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Hmm, I think I know a fellow performer when I see one. You're good with your words. Know just the right thing to say at the right time. So what brings a woman like you to my part of town? What do you think? We're all trying to forget something, are we? I think you and I are gonna get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. Oh, really? Go on. You, me, an evening walk under the streetlights? <laughs> It's tempting, but unfortunately, I'm married to the stage. Hey, Magnolia. You're looking for me? What can I do for you? Do you know Imogene Cabot? Imogene? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? She's missing. And her family's worried about her. Oh, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seemed like a body that could use looking after. Do you know where she's gone? 
There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time, one of the slick ones, always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jean, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this lady here was just looking for Imogene. Do you happen to know where that uh, preacher fella came from? Hmm, Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Hmm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Emma Jean's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. Ah, so... Attacking enemy. Careful, strong brothers. Four and L. Definitely a code.
seven and a some sort of code. Two A. Four L. Run away, hey, personal. Is this you or me?
Hey there. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? I'm just looking for Emogene Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Emogene is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. What's she doing here? Is she a member of your movement? Actually, she and I are... You know, romantically involved. Not that it's any of your business, but she and I are just having a little relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> She's not seeing anybody until she cools off. You're not holding her prisoner, are you? No, she's not a prisoner. She's just locked in her room until she calms down. She was acting crazy, threatening to run off. No offense, uh, but you know how women can get sometimes. I'm going to see her, one way or another. Your choice. Strong smash this one now! Wow, you went right to throwing your weight around. I thought we were friends. If you want to see her so bad, don't let me stand in your way. Here, I'll unlock the door for you. She's all yours, neighbor. You must be Emogene. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. You're Jack's sister? <clears throat> I was expecting someone a bit... younger. How rude. Don't you know to never mention a lady's age? Just to be clear, I'm Jack's younger sister, the baby of the family. Once I get home and get some of Jack's serum, I'll be back to my usual stunning self. Jack has a serum that reverses aging? It really isn't any of your business. And I know it was Jack who sent you. He's always trying to control me. It wasn't Jack. It was your mother who wanted you found. I'm fine, as you can see. I was just waiting to see if Thomas would come to his senses. But since you've already gone to all this trouble, I may as well leave now. I was bored with Thomas anyway. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we got here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. Need anything before we go? No. I didn't bring anything worth taking with me. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. Strong like shadows better. <laughs> 